channel so today I'm gonna do a makeup collab with the makeup chair I'm really excited about this because even though me and Shane have done a load of videos together we've actually never got a chance to work together so basically our challenge is to do a nighttime look using only our BH cosmetic palette so it's a little bit of a challenge but I wanted to stay away from browns and grey so I went with a lot of green and black smoky eye uh, don't forget to check out Sinead's version, um, I'll put her link in the box below and I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye! Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take this NYX primer in white and just apply it onto the lid. Next I'm going to take this olive green shade and I'm just going to apply it onto the lid. And I'm going to flip it around and just kind of blend it out. So you want most of the colour to be in the centre of your lid. I'm taking this taupe colour from my mid-tone and I'm just applying it above the crease and blending it out really well. Taking these two dark green shades, I'm just going to apply them on the outer corner of my lid and then sweeping it up into the crease. Go back and apply a second coat. Remember it's best to colour build rather than applying too much in the one go. And remember it is a nighttime smoky eye so don't be afraid to go a little crazy. Now just go back to that first screen and just sweep it onto your lower lid. And then take the darker two colours and just apply this on the outside and glide it in. Now I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of black and just kind of apply it in between the darker green and the lighter green in kind of like a C shape. This is just going to intensify the look and kind of give it a bit of depth as well. And don't forget to blend everything out. There's nothing worse than harsh lines. Okay, I just want to add a little bit of shimmer to my lid. So I'm just going to go into this white shimmery colour and I'm just going to pat this on above the green and into the inner corners. Okay, take a black liner and what line your waterline and your tight line. Easiest way to do this is to pop in the liner and close your eyes and let it glide across. You can let it just like glide into your lashes as well just to give it more of a, a smoky effect. Okay so you can just go in and line your top lid. Don't worry about it being perfect because you are going to blend it out. Okay, so take a brush and just blend it all out, give you that smoky effect. I'm just going to go back into uh, my black eyeshadow with an angled brush and I'm just going to 
this on top of the line I already made just to kind of intensify it. And again, I'm going to blend it out. You can apply a liquid liner if you would like, but I just prefer to use a pencil. For this look, it gives you more of a smoky effect. I think when you use a liquid liner, it gives you more of like an intense line. Okay, I'm just gonna apply some lashes. And lastly, just to finish off the look, I'm going to apply a matte highlight just under my brow. Okay, I'm just going to fill in my brows with this brow pencil. And I'm just going to seal it with a bit of brown shadow. I'm already after applying my foundation. I use L'Oreal's True Matte Foundation. If you want to see my foundation routine, check out my video. I will link it in the box below. For a nighttime foundation, I'd recommend using a foundation without any SPF, as SPF will ref reflect light and make you look paler in picture. I'm using Avon's powder to set my foundation. Again, keep your powder to a minimum because it can reflect light causing you to look paler in pictures. Apply your blush on the apples of your cheek and blending out. To apply your bronzer, make a fish face and barely touching your skin, just kind of apply the bronzer just underneath your cheekbone. Blend up towards your temple so it will catch the light and give you that kind of sun kiss glow. I also apply my bronzer just underneath my chin and around my jawline to kind of cast a shadow and hide any double chins in pictures. Make sure you apply some lip liner when heading out as this will help your lipstick last longer. I'm just applying this kind of natural blush tone liner and I'm applying my Rimmel Nude Delight lipstick on top. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.